Hello everyone, thank you for waiting patiently. We're now ready to begin. Welcome to the Video Surveillance and School Safety Webinar hosted by Eagle Eye Networks. Today's topic is how video surveillance improves the safety of learning environments for students and teachers. My name is Heather, I'm on the marketing team here at Eagle Eye and I'll be giving you an overview of what we will be covering today and introducing your presenters. So to start off, we're going to give a company and video surveillance overview, give you some information on what the cloud is all about, provide some unique use cases for video surveillance, inform you of factors you should consider when selecting a surveillance system, let you know where the future of technology is headed, and then end on a live demo of our cloud VMS system. I'll introduce our speakers for today. First, we have Will Harris. He's our senior account executive. He'll be covering the first portion of the webinar. Will Harris has five years of experience with Eagle Eye Networks, enabling the growth of sales in North America. Will has maintained several roles within the sales organization and has developed unique relationships with many of Eagle Eye's channel partners and longstanding end customers. Currently, Will manages the inside sales team and helps lead their selling efforts. Then we have Jody Russell, our sales engineer. He'll be giving a demo of our VMS system. Jody Russell has over 16 years of security integration experience as a system installer, manager, service provider, and designer. His experience as an integrator provides a special lens through which to see the challenges inherent in any install and how to provide the best possible solution. And with that, I'm gonna lead it over to Will, who will give you an overview of Eagle Eye and video surveillance. Thanks so much, Heather. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I want to personally thank you for attending today's webinar. Um, we're really excited to present um, a, a discussion on safety in schools, which, of course, is such a hot button topic uh, in today's day and age. And to kick off things, I want to tell you a little bit about Eagle Eye Networks, who we are, uh, where we've been, and, and, and where we're going. Um, Eagle Eye Networks is about seven years old. We were founded in 2012 by our still current Chief Executive Dean Draco. Um, we were really and truly the first video application to um, promote and achieve a cloud-based environment with video. And we'll get in, in just shortly in a little bit more into what the cloud is, especially in relation to video. But we're number one in cloud video surveillance worldwide. We've been at it the longest, and of course we feel as though we do it the best. Uh, we're headquartered in Austin, Texas with remote offices in Tokyo, as well as Amsterdam, and we truly are a global company servicing customers currently in almost 50 countries. So over those seven years, we've expanded our footprint, footprint quite a bit. And part of that footprint has been expanded into um, schools. And the need for uh, surveillance in schools right now is, of course, at a premium. And Eagle Eye Networks is taking a lot of um, uh, onus on their on our backs to try and provide that uh, that's that that enhanced security that we all know schools need. So this seems like a pretty straightforward question, right? What is video surveillance? Well, for the longest time, obviously, it's been a, a camera, uh, a recorder, and then a means in which you can view it uh, on a computer, maybe a laptop, uh, perhaps modern days on a phone or on a tablet. Um, but at its core, Video surveillance is, is a safety blanket. Um, it's an added extra measure of security that we hope deters crime and we hope gives us an added sense of calmness in knowing that, hey, in the middle of the night, you know, maybe we'll, we can be able to detect something that is going on that, that shouldn't be. Uh, maybe we're able to, during the day, monitor the actions and movements of people within buildings, protect our valuables. Uh, video surveillance is um, an extremely important part of all of our lives, whether we are actively doing it or whether we're actively perhaps being watched. Um, and we all know that in today's day and age, with the issues schools have, video surveillance is a keen aspect um, to uh, promoting a safe environment for children, for faculty members, for the comfort and of uh, the parents knowing that their kids are safe and of course for administrators being able to provide um, that type of environment that 
um, fosters such a, a safe and healthy upbringing for our children. So Will, can you inform our audience what the cloud actually is and how our system features are designed to handle even the most challenging school or educational campus layouts? Sure, Heather. Um, so we hear the term cloud quite a bit nowadays. You turn on the TV, you hear an ad, or you drive down the highway and you see a billboard and you see this, this cloud term promoted quite a bit. Uh, some of us get it, some of us don't, um, but we all use it. I guarantee it. Um, every single one of us at some form or capacity is utilizing the cloud in our daily lives. Uh, to give you an example, I uh, was on a trip recently. I flew home. I uh, got my luggage. I walked outside of the airport and uh, I got on my Uber app. I'll, I didn't even have to type in the address to my home because Uber intelligently remembered where I lived. And when I pushed the button for the Uber driver to come pick me up in two minutes, he was there. I was in his car and he automatically knew via his Google Maps where to take me. That's the cloud. Uh, we're no longer having to flag down a yellow cab, hop in the back seat, tell the driver turn by turn instructions of where to go. Our lives are easier with the cloud and the cloud is enabling video security in much, sim in much a similar way. It's to make your lives in relation to the monitoring of your campuses that much easier. So what are some elements of the cloud that enable um, that ease of use and, and that peace of mind? Well, first off, mobile access is huge. I can't tell you how many customers I talk to um, on a sim somewhat daily basis that have fairly decent security systems, perhaps even installed in the last two to three years, and they can't successfully view the video reliably on their phone. What good is having video surveillance if you can't even pull out your phone in today's day and age and be able to view those cameras? We also offer first responder access, with, which of course in the event of a critical situation is, is quite key. Um, my colleague Jody Russell will spend a little bit of time talking more about that during the demo portion of this conversation, but in the event that there is an emergency, you want to be able to alert the appropriate personnel in an efficient and timely manner to get um, to get a move on, and that first responder access is part of that. Motion detection alerts are also kind of tied in to the need for an immediate plan of action. Um, you can set these alerts up a lot. A lot of times, folks will choose to set them up overnight. You know, perhaps draw a zone in a particular area, say a playground, where there really shouldn't be a lot of foot traffic or activity between you know the hours of 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. Um, we are able to deploy motion alerts immediately to you should there be a breach within the, uh, an area that you uh, feel is sensitive. Ever-expanding analytics. The beauty of the cloud is that we consistently add new feature elements to our software on a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly basis. Much like your smartphone that you're probably sitting next to right now um, and the app updates that come with it, you no longer have to manually perform up, uh, software and system updates if you don't want to, like you've had to in the past on servers. With us, we do it for you on the back end. So one day you may wake up with two or three new features that weren't there the day before. And those are the ever expanding feature elements plus analytics that the cloud can provide. One of the really unique aspects of Eagle Eye Networks is that we support over 3,000 different cameras. I like to say we're camera agnostic. The fact of the matter is, is that whether you have existing analog cameras or whether you have nice new IP cameras that aren't working to quite the degree of your liking on the system that you have, we have a good probability of working with those cameras. So if you wanna to move to Eagle Eye, you don't have to necessarily rip and replace all of your existing equipment. Easily retrievable and shareable video is also a huge component. If in the case of an emergency, you need to share video with a law enforcement officer that perhaps isn't um, commonly or uh, regularly set up as a user on the software, you can do that. If you need to go back and view historical footage based upon an event that maybe transpired a day ago or perhaps 10 days ago, based upon that flexible storage component, which means you can store footage on individual cameras at individually different retention times, 
you can be able to go back easily and quickly and view the video that you need. And as well, centralized management is a huge uh, component of a cloud-based system. Uh, you uh, are a district with 10 schools and 20 campuses, perhaps. Well, you can bundle all those cameras into one platform and easily be able to view them within the Eagle Eye uh, platform. When we look at how schools are adopting video, um, really the statistics show us that adoption of a video surveillance platform is at an all time high. Uh, these are just some stats that I uh, recently pulled up, but you can see that um, uh, use of video cameras within schools is, is nearly doubled within the last decade. Um, when it comes to artificial intelligence, the adoption of it in some form or capacity within the uh, IT atmosphere uh, of a school is at a 270% um, escalation rate within the last four years. And in the last decade and a half, 315%. That's been the increased percentage number for kindergarten through 12th grade public schools with security cameras. Uh, that speaks specifically to the urgent need to be able to monitor your campus and it's something that Eagle Eye is striving to be able to provide you um, at a uh, efficient uh, means of installation, as well as hopefully at an efficient means of cost, which is a tease to what uh, we'll be talking about here a little later uh, in the uh, presentation. Yeah, thank you for those fast facts. It does seem that there's a high adoption rate in the school community as of right now. Unfortunately, there are many security issues that happen on a daily basis on school campuses. Why don't you touch on a few different locations where video surveillance could be useful? Yeah, thanks, Heather. So um, the pictures here um, depict some environments that we feel as though, and I'm sure those of you on this webinar would agree, are sensitive environments when it comes to schools. You know, whether it's the pickup line at carpool and the, and the need to be able to effectively monitor that children are getting into the correct cars and, and being trans, transported to and from school safely. Um, whether it's a uh, soccer field or an athletic court um, or a sporting event may be taking place, making sure that proper behavior in the stands as well as uh, proper behavior on the field is being maintained. Um, perhaps it's the lunchroom, um, the cafeteria room, um, where perhaps um, some malfeasance might go on and you wanna be able to uh, monitor and make sure that everything remains calm and in order. Um, there's a, commonly a need for cameras in the classroom. Now, not all classrooms, but perhaps a special education classroom where there really is a sensitive environment and kids need to um, be um, monitored um, and as well teachers need to be monitored and uh, so that uh, you know everything is on the up and up in regards to uh, the way those uh, kids with special needs are being treated and handled. Um, the parking lot, of course, you know, it's um, kind of common that there could be some issues that go on there, needless to say. Uh, playground, trips and falls, slips, bruises, and of course trophy cases or places where valuables are kept, um, precious items with significant value far beyond their monetary um, um, quotient um, that you want to make sure that they're protected and insured um, for um, you know the lifetime of the school so that when visitors stop by they can always see um, the, the past accomplishments of that particular school. So the question that I believe you know every um, superintendent or principal or whoever's making the decision within the particular school district should ask themselves is what should I be considering when choosing a video security system? Um, well, there's really kind of two frames of thought, right? Um, either you're needing a whole new batch of equipment, you have really nothing in place and you need to get some stuff in uh, right away, or you have some stuff in place, it's antiquated, it doesn't work very well, and you need to upgrade that solution. Well, whether you're going down either avenue, these are kind of eight thoughts that I think you should be um, considering when you're choosing a system. Obviously, you need to know where you want to place your cameras. Um, you know, uh, not there's not necessarily a need to have every nook and cranny uh, monitored, 
but you do need sensitive areas covered and we highlighted some examples of those, of those in the last slide. Um, along with camera placement comes camera quantity and quality. Um, so, you know, how many cameras and how good do you want those cameras to be? Um, you can choose a wide variety of different cameras. They're uh, quite a um, um, commodity these days. Uh, you can go get a box of analog cameras at your local Costco or Sam's, or you could go on Amazon and, and spend hundreds of dollars on a very high-end camera. Um, but choosing the right camera for you is important and uh, Eagle Eye can help with that. Ease of use. Well, the cloud makes that possible. Uh, for me, the cloud basically means flexibility and feasibility. And Eagle Eye's cloud-based system is a very innovative and intuitive way of being able to manage and monitor video. Longevity. You know, the way that video has been purchased and installed in the past was usually with DVRs or perhaps even back in the day VCRs. Well, those pieces of equipment have a fairly short shelf, short shelf life. Um, their best day is their first day, and then they just deteriorate in value. With our system and with our progressive software, we're only getting better as time goes by. We're not hardware driven, we're IT driven, and that makes a big difference. Instant alerts, we talked about this with the motion alerts with the types of analytics can be very critical in certain sensitive areas. Flexible retention on cameras. You know, perhaps one camera fits a critical nature that's a little bit lower and only needs to be stored for seven days. Perhaps a camera in a very highly critical area or sensitive area needs to be stored for a month or two months. You have that ability within Eagle Eye to individualize your camera retentions. Cybersecurity, how secure is the video? Can it be tampered with? Can it be destroyed? With Eagle Eye and our ability to store the video off-site, you can be sure that that video is safe and secure. And of course, the last component is cost, and that is a huge element, I know, when it comes to schools and their budgetary restrictions. We'll talk a little bit more about this on the last slide of the day, but rest assured, Eagle Eye is a very popular system for schools based upon our effective cost structure, which usually um, meshes well with a particular school district's um, budgetary constraints. All right, thanks, Will. So my name's Jody. I'm going to be stepping in now to handle the demonstration portion of the webinar. Uh, we're going to do a very short demonstration. I'm basically going to cover four of the main components uh, that I feel like apply specifically towards how the system could be used in a school environment. So we're going to talk about the layout, the access of the video system. We're going to show our historical browser and how it can uh, be used to easily access video, save video, and share video amongst your peers. And then we have a map interface that we're really excited to show you. And lastly, we're going to talk a little bit about analytics. So give me one second. I'm going to jump over to the demo. Now, this is the Eagle Eye Network's demo account. This is a live demo. We're looking at the Capital Factory in Austin, Texas. It's a business-to-business -business incubator that is uh, kind enough to allow us to use their system as our demo. Um, because of it is a demo, some of the... Uh, some of the different feature sets are obviously not available, but everything that we need to show for today's purposes uh, are easily accessible. This first screen that we're looking at, this is called the layout screen, and this is going to allow you a very quick and easy way to just see the overall coverage that your video system is providing. So we're gonna utilize a very low bandwidth substream from the camera, and we're gonna pull that stream to your layouts uh, page, and then we're easily gonna display all of the different video cameras you have attached to your system in a very easy to use manner. Uh, at any given moment, you can click into any one of these substreams and we can go straight to the live stream being presented. Now the live stream is the actual full resolution, high frame rate video that you're gonna be using for your forensic video usage if you need to use it uh, to bring up historical video and, and uh, have it applied in court or for other uh, reasons. And it's also going to be the video that your audio is being recorded on. If you can hear on this particular camera feed that I have up right now, there is indeed a microphone connected with this camera and it has audio enabled. So that's just another feature that's available through Eagle Eye. All of this stuff ties back together through a uh, really simple and easy to use setup, considering when we're talking about things like your map feature. And if you can imagine, you know, you have a, a large school district, 
maybe you're a school resource officer that's responsible for taking care of the, uh, I got a little crazy with my mouse, pardon me. Uh, if you're in charge of taking care of all of the system within a very large footprint of the area, it can be sort of you know clumsy and, and awkward to, to navigate between those different systems. We're gonna make it really easy with our map feature. So this is an integrated Google map and we can zoom directly into the location where your site is at. And as we get closer and closer, you'll see that the cameras start to spread out more and more. Um, as we get further along in, we can start to see which way the cameras are looking. And all of this can be completely customized per, per your particular location. And then just clicking on a camera from within the map, right here brings up a very easy to use uh, video. And we're looking, again, directly into the live stream of the video. And we can have multiple videos up at the same time. It also allows us to do health checks on the system. So we can quickly jump between multiple locations and see which cameras are working and which cameras aren't. And I don't know about uh, you guys, but I've had plenty of, of times where I've walked in as a service technician to try to assist a customer and they tell me that a camera's out and I ask them where and they don't know uh, because they, they're used to looking at the camera and what it sees on the video and they don't necessarily remember where it's installed. Well, this makes it really easy to, uh, to just click right over, find that camera that seems like it's inoperable, which I'm gonna find eventually, I promise. And those cameras are just indicated with a red icon versus the green icon. We're also gonna be able to utilize our system to show you some really easy ways to pull up your historical video and share it with everyone. So once you find the camera that you need, you have a need for a use to pull some video and, and maybe decide whether or not it's even actionable or not. It's really simple to just jump right into a camera. We have an icon, I'm gonna scroll down here to the freight elevator. And if we just select the watch icon over here at the top right, now we're looking at, now we're looking at our historical browser. And this is a very, very easy, very user-friendly, intuitive way of searching for your exact piece of video that you're looking for. So here at the bottom, you see where we have our high resolution video clips that are showing. Uh, you can scroll along with these clips and very easily just scroll through large amounts of data. You can jump straight to a calendar feature that will then allow you to find exactly which day you need to look for on that data, uh, uh, for that data. We have various windows of search ability. So we can look in two hour increments. We can look in eight hour increments. We can look down into one minute increments. Once we find the particular activity that we need to decide whether or not it's actionable, and maybe that's not my decision to make, maybe my responsibility is to just find this video and then present it to the team, and a resource officer will look at it and decide if it's, if it's something they can use or not. Well, we're gonna make it really easy to share that video. So with a couple of clicks of a button, I can just make my own clip, and I'm just holding down shift on my keyboard when I do this. Now I've got a video clip, if you can see where it's highlighted in this yellow area. I can simply copy this clip to my clipboard, and now I have an actionable link that I can share with anyone that has access to the system, has access to the camera, and has the correct permissions to be able to download video and watch historical video. All they do is click the link that I send them, and I can do that over an email, I can send it to them on a text message, and uh, they click that link, they log in, and then they get their video. And they're watching it directly from the historical browser, just like we are. Now, maybe they decide that at that point it is actionable and it is something that they need to have. But we're gonna give them a couple of ways of saving this video. First off, we're gonna get them to put in a little bit of information and then provided the account is set up with it, we have an archiving feature. It's not shown here, but it's an additional button that looks like this download button. An archiving feature where you can store small clips of video indefinitely. And we also have a download clip that will allow you to get the video set up and ready to be downloaded. Uh, at this point, anyone that needs to access this video, of course, we're showing you this on the demo account, so it's obviously not going to allow me to, to download their video. But anyone that is ready and needs access to that video, they're just going to jump in and if I can figure out how to minimize, here we go. I just need to minimize. There we go. There it is. Let's 
Sorry, having a little bit of a technical difficulty closing a, a window on the Mac. <laughs> All right, so we can just jump right into our download section. Maybe, here we are. And any videos that have recently, be, any clips that have recently been requested for download, they show up as available for the allotted time that the video has been retained in the cloud. And now it's super easy for somebody to jump in and, and download the video to whatever media they want, whether it's their laptop or thumb drive, uh, a shareable media of some source of some kind. They can make additional notes if they'd like. And then uh, ultimately they have the ability to add a, an MD5 checksum as well for, uh, for security purposes. All of this stuff is also gonna help you leverage a really powerful tool that's kind of just now becoming available through the resources that are, are made available by the cloud and the cloud infrastructure. And that's something like analytics. So if we were to go specifically for an analytic camera that we have set up on our demo account, we can see things like line crossing events, people object counting, we have intrusion detection. All of these things can be used in creative ways, especially in a school district. Uh, if you imagine a scenario where you have a, an analytic that allows you to provide a head count of every single student standing within a lunch line. And you have the ability to know exactly how long that student was in that lunch line. And then of course you're using that to either keep, keep uh, pars on your food levels or maybe you're using it as a training tool for your staff. Uh, maybe you're using it as a disciplinary tool or a tool to train people on how to handle disciplinary situations. There's a whole lot of different uses for it. And just because it's a counting analytic and it seems sort of basic that we're just keeping count of something, we can apply it in so many different ways to make it work for specific scenarios within the school. And then of course, because you're aggregating all of this data with AI and machine learning, it provides the ability to jump to specific points in time very easily without having to necessarily go back and look for indicators that, that say, okay, this person did cross over this line at this point because you're scrolling through historical video and you see them moving across the line. We're gonna give you the uh, really quick and easy way of just seeing all of those activities as they occur within our object counting analytic. And then just by clicking on the individual activities, you can get in and see that actual video clip that, that would have caused that activity to occur. While we're waiting for this to load, I'm gonna jump into another screen. The use of analytics all sorts of, sort of leads to another um, component of cloud video surveillance, not just Eagle Eye, but you know, certainly Eagle Eye is gonna do it the best. But when we're talking about what we can do, let me get your, your webinar back up here for you. We're gonna to start to talk about what comes next in the industry in general. So analytics, AI, machine learning, all of the data points that are being aggregated through just hours and hours and hours of video uh, surveillance footage that exists in the world, all of this stuff is going to help us to start to create a more and more powerful um, technology. It's gonna advance our ability to do very mundane tasks, very simple tasks, but we're gonna be able to do them extremely quickly, extremely efficiently and effectively. And we're gonna take that time and, and, and resource away from the individuals that would have been doing this stuff in the past. So things like keeping up with people counting and utilizing technology for facial, rec facial recognition, license plate recognition, gun detection, these are all things that just speak towards the technology as it evolves. You know, security is evolving, the technology is evolving along with it, and together they're, they're coming to a point where we can, utilize more, we can utilize the system for way more than just traditional video surveillance. We can utilize it for things that have more to do with making our businesses running more efficiently, making our schools run more efficiently, helping our schools uh, keep track for accountability purposes, for budgetary purposes, and for overall operational efficiency. So we're all pretty excited about the things that are coming down the pipe uh, in, the, in the future because of the technology uh, that is starting to really, really become more and more prevalent within the industry as a whole. But most importantly, because of the technology that we can leverage through the cloud and the fact that 
you don't have to worry about the resources that it takes to expand your current system to account for something like a facial recognition platform. Uh, if, if that's a platform that's integrated into an, into a system like Eagle Eye, all of those resources are expanded in the back end in the cloud, and you're not worried about paying for the processing and hardware and memory and the guy that knows how to program it. We're going to do that quietly while you're you know at home sleeping, knowing that everything's protected. And when you get back to work tomorrow, you're going to have a very easy way of getting the information that you need uh, through these analytics and, and this future technology. But thank you very much for your time. I'm going to turn it back over to Will now. Will? Thanks so much, Jody. So for this last slide, let's <clears throat> address what uh, I'm sure is on pretty much all your minds. And that is when budgeting for school security or video security in schools, why would Eagle Eye be the choice that suits you best? Why have we become such a popular choice for schools? Well, there's a few reasons. <clears throat> Low upfront commitment. You know, with traditional systems with traditional applications, you're having to cut quite a big check for a lot of fancy cameras and a really big robust server that processes all that video. With us in our storage offsite, we're not utilizing a ton of on-site equipment and we're not producing a lot of robust hardware to make our application work. Therefore, it's gonna be less money up front to you. Being able to work with your existing cameras also means not having really to rip and replace the uh, ones that are currently in use. If they're old and they don't work anymore, sure, we can provide new cameras and we can install um, the amount that, that you need. But chances are, if you've got some old cameras that just weren't working great, that may be because of the software they were related to or tied into was a pretty poor software. It may not be a camera problem, it may be an IT problem, and we can resolve that. Less need for ongoing maintenance. Troubleshooting in the cloud is a breeze. We're able to remotely resolve quite a few issues just by going into the app itself, pressing a few buttons and fixing a camera or a device that it's connected to. Reduce time and energy for in-person IT repairs because there's less equipment on site, there's less servers to maintain. And <clears throat> by virtue of that, you won't have to necessarily make as many third party appointments, truck rolls and whatnot, that of course cost money. And of course, you'll have to utilize time and labor to uh, help those individuals out while they're there. So you get more for what you pay. We roll out new feature elements all the time, as we've mentioned during this call today. We take a large devotion to making sure that cybersecurity is enhanced to the maximum degree that it can be. And we work for you on the back end to ensure that what you're getting is the best of what we have to offer on a daily, and a monthly, and a yearly basis. So with that, I'd like to just wrap up by saying, you know, when it comes to security in schools, Eagle Eye is truly a progressive and um, transformative platform. We're dealing with present day problems. We shouldn't be managing them with senile solutions. The bottom line is, is that we need progressive equipment that's easy to use and capable. And Eagle Eye is here to service you to that end. So with that, I'd like to kick it to Heather. And I'd like to also thank you for your time. And we hope to hear more from you as we move forward. Yeah, thank you so much, Will. Thank you so much, Jody, for your input. We really appreciate it. Now we've come to the end of the presentation, but there are a few next steps for y'all. So um, this is what you can do to learn more about the system and who to reach out to if you have any further questions. So tomorrow you'll wanna check your inbox. You'll be receiving an email from us with a lot of information and it also include, include the recording for this webinar in case you wanna look back at anything. Within this email, there will be a few next actions that you can take. Watch our testimonial video where you can hear directly from Superintendent Gary Lewis on how the Oakwood School District is already benefiting from the Eagle Eye system. Reach out to Eagle Eye Networks. If you're part of the school district community, you can schedule a demo if you wanna hear about other features that we didn't get to touch on today. And we really appreciate the opportunity to teach you more about what our system has to offer. If you're a dealer, reach out as well if you wanna learn more about the process of handling a school environment and what all that entails. We can give you more information about that. 
We also want you to be aware that we are currently taking applications for the 2020 Draco School Grant. What that means is you could be eligible to receive a year's worth of free cloud subscriptions for your school for 2020. If you're interested, again, check out that email tomorrow. You can find all the requirements to see if your school qualifies. If so, fill out that application. And lastly, again, one more time, I wanted to thank our presenters. Thank you, Jody. Thank you, Will. And I'll just pause for a second in case anybody has any last words. Thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate your time. Uh, please uh, feel free to reach out if you'd like a demo or want to take a technical deep dive into Eagle Eye. We're excited about uh, bringing everyone on board.